Hey guys, today we're checking out an egg cooker made by a company called Bear. So this is like a standalone unit that can actually do a little more than that. And if you don't want to mess with pots and, you know, large amounts of boiling water, this could be a good way to make your eggs as it does shut off after it's finished. So you can just turn it on and walk away. So this is the box that it comes in. You guys can see what it looks like. Some of the features here, large capacity, rapid cooking, out of shut off and multifunctional. Here we have some stats, the model number, this one is in white, they do have different colors. The voltage, the power consumption of 360 watts, it can do up to 14 eggs. So you can do 7 or 14 with the double decker stack. And also you can steam vegetables or things like seafood. So here's a little bit more info on this side. So we do have a lid, a boiling tray, a light indicator indicating it's on. And also included is two poaching trays. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this thing up. It does come nicely packed. So right on the top we got instruction manual. It shows you the picture of all the parts and what they do. And the instructions here on how to use it. So yeah, looks pretty good there. So it is plastic wrapped. Let's see, there's quite a few pieces here on top. So it looks like we get a little measuring cup here. I'm guessing this is to fill the water. And at the end of it, there's a little pointy needle. And I'm guessing that's to poke a little hole through the egg. And the needle doesn't touch the table because it's kind of recessed. You can see that, so... Two poaching trays for poaching eggs. A metal tray here. I guess cook whatever you want in it. Maybe like an omelet or something. So that's interesting. All right. So we've got the cooker itself here. And that's everything for the box. So yeah, this thing's pretty small and very lightweight. So here we have the lid. You guys can see it has some steam vits. And a little handle to grab it on top. And that's how it goes on. So yeah, pretty simple device here. Okay, we do have some tape we need to take off. And this should come up. And here we have the two trays. And you guys can see it could hold seven eggs in each tray. And the way this works is you stack it. I'll show you guys that in a second. But here we can see the heating element. And this is where we're going to pour our water in. We got the on and off button here. Bear logo. This is what it looks like underneath. It does have little plastic feet. So, you know, it does move around pretty easily. Cable's pretty thick. And... Uh, not too long, maybe about two and a half feet or something. So should be enough though to reach most areas. But yeah, it's a pretty simple kind of appliance here. So you pour your water in, you put your little egg tray in here, and you put your eggs on top. And if that's all you want, then you put the lid on it. Now, if you want to make a lot more eggs, you're going to put the spacer in and then put another tray on top of that, fill it up with eggs, and then put the cover on. So, yeah, you can see it can become like a, a double decker of eggs. So you can make up to 14 eggs. So this could be quite useful, even though, you know, this is a pretty simple kind of cooker here. It seems like you can really do quite a few eggs. All right, so let's go ahead and try to cook something. So I got four eggs, two brown ones and two white ones. And I also got some green beans here that maybe we can steam. And we're going to try to do it all together, see what happens. Now on this cup here, we can see there's some measurements. And then on this other side, there's also some indication here that says soft, medium, and hard. So I haven't looked at the instructions at all. I'm guessing the amount of water that we put in there is going to matter how much the eggs cook. So let's go ahead and fill it up somewhere around medium, maybe in between medium and hard. So I would say maybe around here. And we're gonna simply pour the water right in the cooker. All right, so let's grab one of our trays, set it on there, and then we'll put our eggs on here. I wanna go ahead and use this little pin here or this needle to crack the egg and see what happens. Hopefully it don't ruin the whole thing, let's see. All right, there it goes. So yeah, it made like a, I don't know if you guys can see, a tiny little hole. And I don't know if that helps with anything, but we're gonna go ahead and try it out. We'll set one egg in the middle. We'll make one hole in one, and then the other we'll just leave it. So we'll have one hole in each one. Go ahead and make it. I think you make the hole on the uh, larger side, not the pointier side. Yeah, this thing works pretty good and makes the hole. All right, so we got our eggs in. Let's go ahead and put our side spacer on and then we'll put our other tray on top of that and then we'll set these green beans on the tray here so let's see will they fit in there you have to break one of them in half maybe a couple of them are a little long but they do fit and yeah simple as that we got the green beans on here on the upper level and then our eggs on the bottom level so that should be good let's go ahead and cover it up and now we can turn it on by pushing this button here let's see what happens okay so there is a little light right here you guys probably can't see but yeah, there it is. You can see that little light right there, right above the button. 
showing that it's on. So it should start heating up and steaming our eggs and then also our green beans. Well, I guess I didn't put all of them in there. Here we go. And let's see what happens. So I can see it's already steaming up. So I'm gonna time it and see how long it takes until it's done. So it should shut it off when it's finished. Yeah, it's already uh, making a boiling sound. So let me bring my mic in. Yeah, and you guys can see it's all steamed up in there. So I'm gonna let it cook and we'll be back once it's done. All right, so it's been exactly 10 minutes or right at it pretty close and it looks like it out of shut off. We should have everything cooked in there. And you guys can see there's quite a bit of condensation on the top and it is quite hot. And I can definitely smell the green beans. We're gonna go ahead and let them cool off a bit here to the side. And let's go ahead and see what our eggs look like. So eggs look pretty good. It looks like one of them had a little crack right here. You guys can't see, but yeah, they're very hot. So I think we need to go ahead and throw them in this cool water right away. Let's see if I can do this a little napkin here. There we go. And the reason we want to cool them in this cooler water is because we want them to cool the outer shell so the shell itself doesn't stick. But if you guys saw that, I don't know if you did, but the light came on and it turned back on. So it's, I guess it's temperature sensitive. So because it felt like it was cooler, it automatically turned on, which is interesting. But So you guys can see we do have a little bit of staining inside there from the green beans, which should clean up pretty easy, I would think. And now out of curiosity, I'm just wondering if we pour a little bit of water in here, what happens? Okay, so it doesn't turn back on. I was hoping that it would not. Okay, so whatever that was, I guess it wasn't completely finished or maybe it was like a keep warm thing or something. But, well, actually, no, it does come back on. So whenever it feels like there's water in there or it's cooler, it does come back on. And you guys can see that. So I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. So it's smart enough to stay off when there's nothing in there. But when you do pour something back in, it does come back on. So, But yeah, guys, as you can see, that was not very difficult. And there's not much to really clean up. I mean, this should be very easy to clean up with just a napkin once it cools off. And then these you just rinse out and they're good to go. Now let's see what these green beans look like. I'm kind of curious. So they seem to be cooked. They're flexible. I'm going to go ahead and try one. Oh, yeah, they're definitely cooked perfectly, actually. They still have a little bit of crunch, but definitely cooked. Very nice. Did a perfect job. So I think we still need to try the eggs. Let's go ahead and see. So I got this one here that I made a little hole in. Normally eggs do not peel very good, but let's see. And these eggs are not new, by the way. Or I'm not sure how old they are. But yeah, you guys can see it peels off perfectly. Wow, very impressive. All right, well, that was super easy. Let's see what it looks like inside. See if I can make a mess here. Okay, so yeah, it's definitely on the medium or well-cooked, I guess, area. Not hard, hard, but more on the well-cooked. So the yolk is still soft. It's just not runny. So yeah, this is actually a pretty easy 10-minute breakfast making. Pour some water in, throw some eggs in, put your veggies on the second layer, and you got yourself a nice little healthy meal. And I know all you guys out there that are single and living by yourself, it's kind of hard or it doesn't even make sense a lot of times to, you know, break out all the cooking stuff and make a meal. So this actually makes it very easy and quick, pretty easy to clean up, very low hassle, very small form factor here on the cooker itself. So yeah, overall, I can see this thing being great. All right, guys, so this is the bare egg cooker, and obviously it can do more than that. As you guys saw there it's simple and quick and you know being able to fit 14 eggs is quite impressive so yeah guys if you want to pick up one of these for yourself i'll have some links in the description check it out if you did enjoy this video then hit that like button and if you enjoy videos like this stay tuned for more and as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace